yeah. a lot of times. But, uh, so, uh, again, thanks for doing this. I really appreciate your, your time. Uh, where are you training for your upcoming fight? Um, I've been jumping around a lot. I've been up here with Pride for the past few days. Uh, for them, you know, more as a, as a business standpoint or as, you know, physically? Uh, just keep fighting, you know, that's all you can do is keep fighting and try to get your shot in the big shows and just keep on fighting. Uh, and, uh, the guys have been doing great. I mean, they were hitting my move left and right out here and, yeah. and I never taught it to them. They just picked it up on their own. They're all real smart, real good stand up and uh, got a great coaching blend behind them. And, and the other guys in the gym, they got, they got Mike, they got, yeah, they got Trace, they got lots of good coaches there. They got Ben. They got Corey. They got oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they got a bunch of they got a bunch of good coaches there. You know, Glenn has a whole stable of coaches, and that's what it takes. It's a bunch of guys dedicated to the same cause, and that's just becoming a better fighter. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Notice you got a couple of marks on your face. Is a bit of a rough homecoming for you? Uh, yeah, just me and Brookins were sparring the other day, and he kind of threw me a little bit of a beating for my first day of training. But uh, that happens. That's right fine. On. Right on. Man. That's great. Uh, uh, Jonathan Brookins is in attendance. Uh, did you guys know each other before the, the no. Ultimate Fighter show? Or? No, we just met on the show. We became friends on the show. Excellent. And, you know, you guys both seem to have quite a laid-back, you know, really personable sort of attitude. Uh, 
Do you find that to be sort of the norm in MMA? Have you found a lot more regressive personalities? No, there's a lot of crazy dudes in the sport that give us all a bad name, but then there's also guys like Jonathan who, are, who is just like so calm and laid back and the nicest guy. Uh, that, that's why I like hanging out with Jonathan a lot. He's just, he's just so nice and polite and uh, yeah, good guy. Right on. I guess a bit of a Northwest connection. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a Portland guy and uh, I grew up in Alaska slash Patley Falls, Washington. So yeah, Northwest thing, I guess. Right on. Uh, so I was going to say, uh, most guys training for you are probably going to try and avoid uh, getting their neck exposed. Is it even worth it for them to try that? I mean, um, they, they can practice not getting choked out all they want, but I'm still going in there to do my thing. Right on, man. Right on. Uh, it's, uh, kill it? Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess we want to just wish you luck. Um, Carl wanted to ask you, is there any shout outs you'd like to give to anyone out there on the internet? Or? Uh, to my friends and family, uh, I love them. They all know who they are and the Pride Gym and all the other gyms I've trained at. And to you guys, Matt House, thanks for all the support. <laughs> Appreciate right. it. Hey, thanks a lot for hey. doing this, man. Hey, thank you. Really guys. nice to see you yeah, back yeah, on the show. No